Arbor on the roof. Sounds crazy, you know? But in the Arbor town of Anatevka, you might say, every one of us is we're on the roof, trying to scratch off a pleasant thing or two without breaking the neck. It isn't easy. You know, you may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we quite keep our balance for many, many years? That, I can tell you one word. Tradition! tradition. And it's because of these traditions, every man knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Who day and night must scramble for a living, feed a wife and children, say his daily prayers, and who has the right as master of the house to have the final word at home? The Papa! The Papa! Tradition! The Papa, the Papa, tradition. The Mama, the Mama, tradition. The mama, the mama, tradition. At three I started Hebrew school, at ten I learned a trade. I hear they picked a bride for me, I hope she's pretty. The sun, the sun, tradition, the sun. special type. For instance, Yenta, the matchmaker. Avril, I found a wonderful match for your son. A great girl. What is it? Ruffle, the shoemaker's daughter. Ruffle? She can hardly see you. She's almost blind. Tell the truth, Avril. Is your son much to look at? Well, the way he looks and the way she sees, it's a perfect match. And Reb Nahum, the beggar. Alms for the poor. Alms for the poor. One kopeck. One kopeck? Last week you gave me two kopecks. I had a bad week. So, if you had a bad week, why should I suffer? And most important, our beloved rabbi. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the czar? A blessing for the czar? Of course. May God bless and keep the czar. Far away from us. <laughs> <laughs> And there are 
others in our village. They make up a much bigger circle. His Honor the Priest, His Honor the Constable, His Honor many others. We don't bother them, and so far, they don't bother us. And among ourselves, we get along perfectly well. Of course, there was a time when he sold him a horse and he delivered a mule. But that's all settled now. Now we live in simple peace and harmony. It was a horse! It was a mule! It was a horse! It was a mule! Tradition! Tradition! Without our tradition, our lives would be as shaky as a fiddler on the roof! Mama, where should we put these? Put them on my head. By the stove, foolish girl. Where is Hab? She's in the barn milking. Why will Hab be home? It's almost the sad, but he wears a lap and he'll be all day long, riding on top of his wagon like a prince. Mama, you know Papa works hard. His horse works harder. And you don't have to defend your Papa to me. I know him a little longer than you. He could drive a person crazy. He should only live with me well. Sprinza, bring me some more potatoes. Papa, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You are reading again? Why does a girl have to read? We'll get her about her husband. Here. Mama, yes, is coming. She's down the road. Maybe she's finally found a good match for you, Zaito. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Mama, can I go out and play? You have feet. Go. Oh, can I go too? Go too. But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was old. He was bald, and he had no hair. You want to marry a monkey? Well, I'm not yet 20, and... Do you have to boast about your age? Do you have to tempt the evil eye? Inside. Gold, darling, I have such news for you. And not every day of the week news, once in a lifetime news. Where are you girls? Outside? No? Good. Such diamonds, such jewels, and I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. After all, even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my poor husband died, I've been alone, a poor widow, no one to talk to. It's no life, and even at night, thinking of him gives me no pleasure because, well, you know as much as I. He wasn't much of a man. Everything he touched turned to mud. Good, good, good evening. Is Zyko in the house? She is You can come back later. But there's something I'd like to tell her. Later. Oh, Model. I, I thought I heard your voice. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. What does that poor tailor want with Zyko? They have been friends since they were children They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. Muscles and nuts. Yes, you said. Ah, children, children. Such a blessing in my old age. In your old age. But Aaron couldn't give me children. But believe me, good as gold. Never raised his voice. But what good is he if he never raised his voice? He wasn't much of a man. But what's the use of complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, but not me, not Yenta. So now I must go prepare my poor Sabbath table. Goodbye, Golda. Yenta, you said you had news. Oh, the news. I'm losing my head. 
One day it'll fall off altogether, and a horse will come and kick it in the mud, and goodbye, Enta. The news, it's about Laser Wolf, the butcher, a good man, a fine man. And I don't have to tell you that he's well off. But he's lonely, the poor man. So to make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Zeitel. My Zeitel? No, the Tsar Zeitel. Yes, your Zeitel. Such, Such a match for my Zeitel. But have you want to learn anything? Like Listen to me, Golda. Send Tevye to me. Send Laser to Tevye. Don't tell him what it's about. Laser will win him over. He's a good man, a fine man, a wealthy man. But aside from my small fee, which Laser will pay, I get the satisfaction of helping people. And what better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golda. And you're welcome. What did she say, Mama? When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Finish washing the clothes. Maybe Yenta's finally found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Mato, the tailor. Oh, I didn't ask you. Oh, Zaito, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And then after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings... Whoa, Yenta, Yenta. Well, somebody has to make the matches. Young people can't just decide these things for themselves. Maybe she'll bring someone wonderful, someone interesting, and well off, and important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groom. Bring me a ring for I'm longing to be the envy of all I see. For Papa, make him a scholar. For Mama, make him rich as a king. For me, well, I wouldn't holler if he were as handsome as anything. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. Night after night in the dark I'm alone So find me a match of my own Since when were you interested in Yenta finding you a match? I thought you only had your eye on your books And your eye on the rabbi's son Why not? We only have one rabbi and he only has one son Why shouldn't I want the best? Because you're the daughter from a poor family So whatever Yenta brings you'll take, right? Of course, right! Oh, Hoddle, have I got a match for you? He's handsome, he's young. All right, he's 62, but he's a nice man, a good catch. True? True. I promise you'll be happy, and even if you're not, there's more to life than that. Don't ask me what. Hava, I found him. Will you be a lucky bride? He's handsome, he's tall, that is from side to side, but he's a nice man, a good catch, right? Right. You've heard he's got a temper, he'll beat you every night, but only when he's sober, so you're all right. Did you think you'd get a prince? Well, I do the best I can, with no dowry, no money, no Glad you got a match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, you know that I'm still very young. Please take your time. Up to this minute, I misunderstood that I could get stuck for good. Dear young.
Today, I am a horse. Dear God, did you have to make my poor horse lose the shoe just before the Sabbath? That wasn't nice. It's enough you pick on me, Tevya. Bless him with five daughters, a life of poverty. What have you got against my horse? Sometimes I think when things are a little too quiet up there, you say to yourself, hmm, let's see. What kind of mischief can I play on my friend Tevya? So you're finally here, my breadwinner. I'll talk to you later. Where's your horse? He was invited to the blacksmith's for the Sabbath. Hurry up, the sun won't wait for you. Besides, I have something to tell you. <laughs> As the good book says, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We've got the sickness already. <laughs> now, I'm not really complaining. After all, because of you, I'm starving to death. You made many, many poor people. Now, I've realized, of course, it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So, what would have been so horrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, all day long I'd bitty bitty bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard If I were a bitty bitty rich man I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen Right in the middle of the town a fine tin roof and real wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my Yards with turkeys, turkeys and geese And ducks for the town to see and hear Squawking just as noisily as they can With each loud quack and honk and rock and rap Will land like a trumpet on the ear As if to say here lives a wealthy man If I were a rich man, all day long I'd bitty bitty bump. If I were a wealthy man, hey, wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a bitty bitty rich, dig a dig a deedle, I don't man. I see my wife, my gold, all looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin. Supervising meals to her heart's delight. I see her putting on airs and strutting like a peacock. Oh, what a happy mood she's in! Screaming at the servants day and night. The most important men in town will come to fawn on me. They will ask me to advise them like a Solomon the wise. If you please, Reb Tavia, pardon me, Reb Tavia. Posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. Bye 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 And it won't make one bit of difference If I answer right or wrong When you're rich they think you really know If I were rich I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray Maybe have a seat by the eastern wall And i discuss the holy books with the learned men Seven hours every day 
That would be the sweetest thing of all. If I were a rich man, all day long, I bitty bitty bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man? There he is. Hey, you forgot my order for the Sabbath. Reb Mordka, I had a little accident with my horse. Tevya, you didn't bring the rabbi's order. I know, Reb Mon Mendel. Te Tevye, you forgot my order for the Sabbath. This is bigger news than the plague in Odessa. Talking about news, terrible news in the outside world. What is it? What does it say? In a village called Rajanka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their homes. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land, or maybe a plague. Maybe the Tsar had his own personal plague. Amen. Amen. Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it. It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching in places that they can't reach. Amen. Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand around and curse and chatter and don't do anything. We all chatter your way into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village. No. And where are you from? Kiev. I was a student at the university there. Aha! The university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That's where I learned that there's more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. He's right! As the good book says, if you spit in the air, it lands in your face. That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's going on in the world. You know, he's right too. He's right, and he's right. How can they both be right? You know, you are also right. He's right. He's still what behind the ears. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath, Tabia. Yeah. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Tabia, the rabbi's order. Of My course. Cheese. Of course. So you're from Kiev, Rab? Perchik. Perchik. So you're a newcomer here. As Abraham said, I'm a stranger in a strange land. That was Moses. Forgive me. As King David put it, I'm slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was also Moses. For a man who talked a lot, he certainly... With a man who had a slow tongue, he certainly talked a lot. And the cheese? Here, have a piece. I have no money, and I'm not a beggar. Take it. It's my blessing. Very well. For your sake. Thank you. You know, it's no crime to be poor. In this world, it's the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth will be ours. If they would agree, I would agree. And who will make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you? Like me. <laughs> Nonsense. And until your golden day comes, how will you live, Reb Perchik? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. Girls should learn too. Girls are people. A radical! I'd be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our times. I'm a very poor man. Food for lessons? Good. Stay the Sabbath with us. Of course, we don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, if a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Where does the book say that? <sighs> well, it doesn't exactly say that, but someplace it has something about a chicken. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. <sighs> good Sabbath, children.
Children, this is Perchik. Perchik, this is my oldest daughter. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. You have a very pleasant daughter. I have five pleasant daughters. This is mine. 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 This is not mine. <laughs> Perchik, this is Mottel Cam's oil, and he is... You did me a favor and came in. This is also mine. Golda, this is Perchik from Kiev, and he will be staying the Sabbath with us. He's a teacher. Would you like to take lessons from him? I'm a really good teacher. A very good teacher. I heard once that the rabbi who praises himself has a congregation of one. <laughs> Your daughter has a quick and witty tongue. The wit she gets from me. As the good book says... The good book can wait. Get washed. The tongue she gets from her mother. <laughs> Motul, you're also eating with us? Of course, another blessing. Saito, two more. Vioka, Sprinta, Kipwash. Model can help me, Mama. All right. How are you going to do? You can wash out that. I have something to say to you. Why should today be any different? Tabi, I have to tell you. I'm praying. Laser Wolf wants to see you. The butcher? What for? I don't know. Only that he says it is important. What can be important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the Sabbath, see him and talk to him. Talk to him about what? If he's thinking about my, buying my new milk cow, he can forget it. If you don't be an ox, a man sends an important message. The least you can do is talk to him. Talk to him about what? He's thinking about buying my new milk cow. Talk to him. All right. After the Sabbath, I'll talk to him. So in a few weeks, I'll save up enough money to buy it. And then your father will be impressed with me. But a few, a few weeks may be too late. Zaydel, what else can we do? <coughs> well, you could ask my father for my hand tonight. Now. Why should he consider me now? I'm just a poor tailor. And I'm only the daughter of the poor milkman. Just talk to him. Title. If your father says no, that's it. It's final. He'll yell at me. Model. Just a poor tailor. Model, even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That's true. So, will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? All right. I'll talk to him. Where is, it's light. Where is everyone? Light. Red, have you? Come in, children. We're lighting the candles. Rep Tavia. Yes, what is it? Well, model, what is it? Good Sabbath, Rep Tavia. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Come, children, come.
Brad Mortka. Yes, Laser Wolf. Bring me two glasses and a bottle of your best brandy. Your best brandy? Brad Laser. What's the occasion? Are you getting ready for a party? There may be a party. There may even be a wedding. A wedding? Wonderful. I'd be glad to make the wedding merry, lead the dancing and so forth. For a little fee, naturally. Of course. It wouldn't be a wedding without you and your fee, Reb Mortka. Good evening. We would like a drink. Sit down here. Vodka? Schnapps? Vodka. Good evening. Good evening. What do you do? He's thinking about buying my new milk cow. Good evening, Rev. Lather. Ah, Tevya, sit down. Uh, have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. So, how goes it with you, Tevya? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm very sorry to hear that. So how goes it with your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing very well. He wrote you? Not lately. Then how do you know? If he was doing so badly, he would write. May I? Of course. Tevya, I suppose you know why I wanted to see you. Yes, I do, Reb Lather. But there's no use talking about it. Why not? Why, yes. Why should I get rid of her? Oh, you have a few more without her. I see. Today you want one. Tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I do with two? The same you do with one. <laughs> Tevya, this is very important to me. Why is it so important? Well, frankly, because I'm lonesome. <laughs> lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know? We're talking about my new milk cow. The one you want to buy from me. Your new milk cow. <laughs> Your new milk cow. So I won't be lonesome. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Devya, I was talking about your daughter. Your daughter, Saito. My daughter, Saito? Of course, your daughter, Saito. I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I, I like her. And as for me, you know I have her well off. A nice house, a good servant, my own shop. Look, Tevya, we don't have to try to impress each other. Why don't we just shake hands and it's call it a match? You won't need a dowry for her and you may even find a little something in your own purse. Shame! Shame on you! My purse, my daughter's Zeichel, is not the type I would sell for money. All right, all right. We won't talk about money. The most important thing is let's just get it done. I'll be good to her, Tevya. I like her. What do you say? What do I say? What do I say? I never liked him. On the other hand, not everyone has to be a scholar. If you're wealthy, no one will call you stupid. But of course, he has a problem. He's much older. That's her problem. But she's younger. <laughs> That's his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher, but maybe I misjudged him. He's a decent man. He likes her, and he will try to treat my daughter well. What do I say? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Let's drink on it. To you, my friend. No, my friend, to you. To both of us. To our agreement. To our agreement. To good health and happiness. To our prosperity. And most important, to life. To life. L'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim, to life. Here's to the father I've tried to be. Here's to my bride to be. Drink Lachayam to life, to life, Lachayam. Lachayam, Lachayam to life. Life has a way of confusing us, blessing and bruising us. Drink Lachayam to life.
God would like us to be joyful Even when our hearts fly panting on the floor How much more can we be joyful When there's really something to be joyful for To life, to life, l'chaim To Zaito, my daughter My wife <laughs> It's a way of Think about something to drink about Drink l'chaim To life, Rev Morka Just as Drinks for everybody <laughs> I'm taking myself a bribe. Heavy as eldest, Saito. To Tavia. To My wife.
Yeah. You know, Tevya, when, we are, when I'm getting married, we'll be related. And you will be my papa. Your papa? <laughs> I've always wanted a son. I want a little younger than myself. <laughs> Good evening. What well, seems to be a celebration? My off. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. How often does a man get a compliment like that? And your news? We've received orders that sometime soon this district is to have a little unofficial demonstration. A pogrom? Here? No, no, no. Just a little unofficial demonstration. How little? Nothing too serious, just a little mischief. That way if an inspector comes through, he can see we've done our duty. Personally, I don't see why it's be trouble between people, but I thought I should tell you and you can tell the others. Thank you, Your Honor. You're a decent man. It's, and if I may say, it's too bad you're not Jewish. <laughs> That's why I like you, Tavia. Always joking. And congratulations for your daughter. Thank you, Your Honor. Goodbye. Dear God, why did you have to send me news like this? Today of all days. It's true that we are the chosen people, but once in a while, couldn't you choose someone else? Anyway, thank you for sending a husband for my Zytol. Well, hi him. Now children, I will tell you a story from the Bible of Laban and Jacob, and we will discuss it, all right? Good. Now Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel. Jacob loved the younger Rachel and asked Laban for her hand in marriage. Laban agreed if Jacob had worked for him for seven years. Was Laban a mean man? He was an employer. Now, after Jacob worked seven years, do you know what happened? Leah tricked him and gave him the ugly daughter, Laban. So to marry Leah, uh, Rachel, he was forced to work another sh seven years. You see, the Bible clearly states that you should never trust an employer. Do you understand? Yes, Perchick. Yes, Perchick. Good. Now. No, Mama. That's enough lessons. We have to do Papa's work today. How long can he sleep? He came home last night and fell into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and clean the barn. Call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Perchick. Do you think so? Although I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And uh, neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. And uh, what do you know about him besides that he's the rabbi's son? Would you be interested in him if you're the shoemaker's son or the tinsmith's son? At least I know this. He doesn't have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Certainly. Any new idea would be strange to you. Remember the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he wasn't talking to you personally. You have spirit. A little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity is a rusty tool. Good day, Hoddle. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully towards a girl. But of course, that's too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Our traditions? Nothing must change. Everything is perfect exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing everywhere but here. Here, men and women keep apart. Men study. Women in the kitchen. Boys and girls cannot touch. Cannot even look at each other. I'm looking at you. <sighs> oh, you were very brave. Do you know in a city, boys and girls can be affectionate without the permission of a matchmaker? They hold hands together. They dance together. New dances like this. I learned in Kiev. Do you like it? It's very nice. There. 
We just changed an old custom. Yes. Well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, good day. Good day. Yoka is Brintha. What's your name? Hado, Papa. Call Vito out. Ah, Reb Perchik. How did lessons go today? I think we made a good beginning. Ah, he's finally up. What happened last night besides you drinking like a peasant? Did you see Laser Wolf? What did he say? What did you say? Do you have news? Patience, woman! As the good book says, good news will stay, and bad news will refuse to leave. And then there's another saying that... You can that die from such a man. Ah, Zytel, my lamb. Come here, Zytel. You are to be congratulated. You are going to be married! Married? What do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has asked, asked for your hand. I knew it. The butcher? My heart told me this was our lucky day. Oh, dear God, I thank thee. I thank thee. What do you say, Zytel? What can she say? My firstborn, a bride. May you live with him in fortune and peace. Not like Bruma Sarah, that first wife of his. She was a bitter woman. May she rest in peace. Not like my Saito. And now I must go thank Yenta. My Saito, a bride. You call that a Mazel Tov? And you, Reb Herchik, aren't you going to congratulate her? Congratulations, Idol, on getting a rich man. Again with the rich. What's wrong with being rich? It's no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. May the Lord smite me with it. With it. May I never recover. <laughs> Zytel knows I only mean for her welfare. Don't you, Zytel? Yes, Papa. You see? I see. I see very well. Well, Zytel, why so silent? Aren't you happy with this blessing? Oh, Papa, Papa! What is it? What's wrong? I don't want to marry him. I can't marry him. I can't. What do you mean you can't? If I say you will, you will. If it's a matter of money, I'll do anything. I'll hire myself out as a servant. I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. Wait, don't make me marry him, Papa, please. What's wrong with Laser? He likes you. I will be unhappy with him. All of my life will be unhappy. I'll dig ditches. I'll haul rocks. Don't force me, Papa. But we made an agreement. With us, an agreement is an agreement. Is that more important than I am, Papa? All of my life will be unhappy. All right. I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa! It seemed it was not ordained that you should have all the comforts in life, and that we should have a little joy in our old age after all of our hard work. Rev. may I speak to you? Later, Mottled, later. <laughs> Rev. I would like to speak to you. Not now, Mottel. I have problems. That's what I'd like to speak to you about. I think I can help. Certainly. Like a bandage can help a corpse. Goodbye, Mottel. Goodbye. At least listen to him, Papa. All right, you have a tongue. Talk. I hear you're arranging a match for Zyphal. He also has ears. I have a match for Zyphal. What kind of match? A perfect fit. A perfect fit. Like a glove. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. Made to measure? A perfect fit? Stop talking like a tailor and tell me who it is. Please don't shout at me. All right. Who is it? 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 It's me. Myself. Him. Himself. Either you're completely crazy or you're out of your mind. He must be crazy. Arranging for a match for yourself? What are you? Everything? The bridegroom? The matchmaker? The guests all rolled into one? I, I assume you'll even perform the ceremony. You must be crazy. Please don't shout at me. 
As for being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual. Unusual? It's crazy! The, the thing is, Red Teviot, times are changing. And your daughter, Zyko, and I, we gave each other our pledge more than a year ago that we would marry. You... you gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa, we gave each other our pledge. They gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. You gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. Where do you think you are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do they think they are? America? What do you think you're doing? You stitcher! You nothing! Who do you think you are? King Solomon? What do you want from me? No, no, man. Some things I will not, I cannot allow. Tradition. Tradition! <laughs> this should never be changed. One little time you pulled out a prop. And where does it stop? Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Do I still have something to say about my daughter? Or doesn't anybody ask the father anymore? I wanted to ask you for some time, Rep, have you? But first I wanted to save up enough money for my own sewing machine. Stop talking nonsense. You're just a poor tailor. That's true, Rep, have you? But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. I promise you, your daughter will not starve. He's beginning to talk like a man. On the other hand, what kind of match would that be with a poor tailor? On the other hand, he's an honest hard worker. On the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things cannot get any worse for him. They can only get better. They gave each other a pledge unheard of. They gave each other a pledge unthinkable. But look in my daughter's face. She loves him, she wants him. But look in my daughter's eyes, so hopeful. Tradition! Well, children, when shall we make the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa! Rectavia, you won't be sorry. I won't be sorry. I'm sorry already. Oh, thank you, Papa! Thank you, Papa! Uh, thank you, Papa! Children, they've pledged their troth. Modern children. Golda! What do I tell Golda? What am I going to do about Golda? Model, you were wonderful! It was a miracle! It was a miracle! Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took to Daniel once again, stood by his side and miracle of miracles, walked him through the lion's den. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, I was afraid that God would frown. But like he did so long ago in Jericho, God just made a wall fall down when Moses softened Pharaoh's heart. That was a miracle. When God made the waters of the Red Sea part, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all, that out of a worthless lump of clay, God has made a man today. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took the tailor by the hand, turned him around it, miracle of miracles, walked him to the promised land. When David slew Goliath, yes, that was a miracle. When God gave us man in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is the one that I thought could never be. God has given you to me.
Sarah! Lady Wolf's first wife! Tell me, what's the matter with you? Rupa Sarah's been dead for years. You must have been dreaming. Tell me what you dreamt, and I'll tell you what I meant. It was terrible. Tell me. All right. Only don't be frightened. Boo! Tell me. All right. This is my dream. In the beginning, I dreamt we were having a celebration of some kind. And everyone we knew was there. And musicians, too. And in the middle of my dream, in walks your grandmother Zaito. May she rest in peace. Grandmother Saito? How did she look? For a woman who's been dead 30 years, she looked very well. Naturally, I went up to greet her. And she said to me, A blessing on your head. Toff, mazel toff. To see a daughter wed. Mazel toff, mazel toff. And such a son-in-law, like no one ever saw. The tailor model comes oil. Model? A worthy boy is he. Mazel tov, mazel tov. A pious family. Mazel tov, mazel tov. They named him after my dear uncle Mordechai. The tailor model comes oil. A tailor? She meant to her. She meant to butcher. Tailor model comes you must have heard wrong, Grandma. There's no tailor. You mean a butcher, Grandma, by the name of Laser Wolf. Tavia, oh! <laughs> my great grandchild, my little Zaito, who you named for me, Mato's bride was meant to be. For such a match, I prayed. In heaven, it was made. A fine of standing boy, a comfort and a joy, the tailor model comes oil. <laughs> but we announced it already. We made a bargain with the butcher. But we announced it, Grandma, to our neighbors. We made a bargain, Grandma, with the butcher laser wolf. No, no, no! So you announced it, Tavia, that your head ache. And that's for laser Your headache too. It was the butcher. It was Laser Wolf. The Taylor Muscle Come. about your daughter marrying my husband. Yes, your husband. Would you do this to your friend and neighbor from a Sarah? Have you no consideration for a woman's feelings? What is feelings? Handing over my belongings to a total stranger. Total stranger. How could you allow it? How? How could you let your daughter take my place, live in my house, carry my keys, and wear my clothes? Bow, bow. How could you allow your daughter to take my place? Give your blessing to your daughter's marriage. marriage. Let me tell you what would follow such a fatal wedding. Fatal wedding. If 
I told Mary's lay so whole, I pity them both. She'll live with him three weeks, and when three weeks are up, I'll come to her by night. I'll take her by the throat. And... Just don't give your side the fat, don't give your side the fat, don't give your title. Ah, ah, here's my wedding present. If she marries, lay the wolf. May she rest in peace. He came all the way from the other side to tell us about the tailor, and all I can say is that it's for the best, and it couldn't possibly be any better. Amen. Amen. A blessing on our heads, muzzle top, muzzle top. Like Grandma Sigel said, muzzle top, puzzle top. We'll have a son in law like no one ever saw. We haven't got the man. Muzzle top, muzzle top. We had when we began. Muzzle top, muzzle top. But since your grandma came, she'll marry what's his name? The tailor motto comes oil. 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 Thank you. Bagels, fresh bagels. Did you hear? Tanya Zeidel's marrying model, not Laser Wolf. No. Yes. Zeidel's marrying model. Yes. excitement about. Tevye Zaito going to marry. I know, Laser Wolf, the butcher. No, Mato the tailor. Mato the tailor? That's terrible. Oh my god. Imagine, Zaito was going to marry Mato. I just can't believe it. What's wrong with my son Mato? Oh, excuse me, Shado. Mazel. You have a wedding hat for me. Blazer Wolf ordered a hat, but it's not going to be cheap. Well, I got his bride. I can get his hat. Then come, model. Come. <laughs> Hava, I'll only be gone for a few minutes. Do you mind time. walking the shop? Of course. Thank you, Hava. Come, model. I'll show you. Please. May I pass? Why? We're congratulating you. All right, stop it. What's wrong with you? Just stop it. Now this is your thing. Goodbye, Sasha. I said goodbye. I'm sorry about that. They don't mean any harm. Don't they? Is there something you want? Yes, I'd like to talk to you. I'd rather not. I often see you in the booksellers. Not many girls in this village like to read. Would you like to borrow this book? It's very good. No, thank you. Why? Because I'm because I'm not Jewish. You feel about us the way they feel about you? I didn't think you would. What do you know about me? Well, let me tell you about myself. I'm a pleasant fellow, charming, honest, ambitious, quite bright, and. Very modest. I don't think we should be talking this way. I often do things I shouldn't. Go ahead, take the book. It's by Einar Kainer. Happens to be Jewish, I believe. Well, that doesn't matter. You're quite right. Good. After you return it, you can discuss how you like it and how we can talk about life and how we feel about things, and it can all turn out quite pleasant. Yeah, okay. Can I do something for you? Uh, no, thank you. Good day. Good day. Oh. <coughs>
Yeke, you forgot your book. No, it's mine. <laughs> Thank you, Hava. Good day, Hava. Good day. Fitka. Good day, Fitka.
Hawaii. We are gathered here today to share the, the joy of the newlyweds, Mottle and Zytel. May they live together in peace to ripe old age. Amen. Amen. Ah, here comes our beloved rabbi. May he be with us for many, many years. Amen. Amen. Now, I'd like to announce that the bride's parents are giving the newlyweds the following. A new feather bed. This pair of pillows. Goose pillows. Goose pillows. And these candlesticks. Now, let us not in our joy tonight forget those who are no longer with us. Our dear departed. Who lived in pain and poverty and hardship. And who died in pain and poverty and hardship. But enough tears. Let's be merry and content like our good friend Laser Wolf who has everything in the world except a bride. <laughs> but Laser has no ill feelings. In fact, he has a gift for the newlyweds that he'd like to present himself. Come, Laser Wolf. As he said, I have no ill feelings. What's done is done. For the newlyweds, I have bought five chickens. One for, the first, one for each of the first five Sabbaths of their wedded lives. Reb Lazer, you are a decent man. In honor of my daughter and her new husband, I accept your gift. And there's a famous saying that goes That's like, Rebia, I'm not marrying you, daughter. I don't have to listen to your saying. All I was going to say was that... Why should I listen to you, a man who breaks his agreement? Not now, Laser. In the middle of a wedding. Why not? I have a right to speak. What right? This isn't your wedding. It should have been. Oh, Reb oh. Laser. Don't shame Reb to have you at his daughter's wedding. Why not? He shamed me in front of the whole village. Uh, Sha, Sha, quiet. The rabbi, the rabbi. Rabbi, say something. I say... I say... Let's sit down. We all heard the wise words of the rabbi. Now, I'd like to sing a little song that I... I just, you can keep your these chickens! You keep my ah, chickens out of it! I don't want your chickens! Don't leave a drink on it! We made it! Oh, my baby! I'm sorry, but all I hear is my daughter's having it to the one-on-one part of the memory. Oh, I'm sorry! You didn't even need to know for her! What are you doing? I don't! Quiet! What's all the shouting about? An agreement. They drank on it. A sign. It's all nonsense. Zaito wanted to marry Model and not Laser. A young girl decides for herself? Why not? Yes. They love each other. <coughs> love? Terrible. A radical. Wait. What happens to the matchmaker? Uh, there you go. What happens yeah. to the matchmaker, yeah. huh? I say. I say. Let's all sit down. Musicians, play. A dance. A dance. Come on, dance. It's a wedding. Some wedding. What's he doing? Purchase. Who will dance with me? Someone's got to sit. It's no sin to dance at a wedding. But with a girl? That's what you get for letting a wild man into your house. He's not a wild man. His ideas are a little different, but he's not a wild man. It's a sin. It's no sin. Ask the rabbi. Ask him. Well, rabbi? Dancing. Well, it's not exactly forbidden. There you but... see. It's not forbidden. And it's no sin. Now, will someone dance with me? Gouda, what is your daughter doing? It's only a dance, Mama. What? What, what did you raise her to do? That is not a, that is unacceptable. Right. Unacceptable. Not good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe she won't. Maybe she won't. Maybe she won't. What? What she
I see you came at a bad time, Tevya. I'm sorry, but the orders are for tonight. For the whole village. Go on, play, play. <coughs> Alright, man. Enough! I'm generally sorry. You understand. We understand. Come on, man. Come into the house. Well, don't all just stand around. Clean up! Clean up! That was quite a dowry you gave to my doctor Zeitel. Was that really necessary? Anyway, Mottel and Zeitel have been married for two months now. They're, they work so hard and are as poor as synagogue mites. But they are, so ha they are so happy that they don't realize how miserable they are. Mottel keeps talking about a new sewing machine. I know you're busy, God, with wars and revolutions, floods and plagues, all those little things that bring people to you. Couldn't you take a second away from your catastrophes and get it for him? How much trouble would that be? Oh, and while you're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg, am I asking too much? I'm sorry. As the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> Please don't be upset, Hoddle. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, then you must. I have to. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow. So you told me. Then goodbye. Hoddle, think. Your father, the others. Think of what happened at the wedding was a little cloudburst and it's all over. And it'll be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening across the land. Pogroms, violence. Whole villages are being emptied of their people. It's spreading across the land and it'll reach here. Do you understand? Yes. I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. Then goodbye, Perchick. Before I go, there's a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question. What is it? The question of marriage. This is a political question? In a theoretical sense, yes. The relationship between a man and a woman known as marriage is based on mutual beliefs, a common attitude and philosophy towards each other. And affection. Yes, and affection. This relationship reflects unity and solidarity. And affection. Yes, and I'm personally in favor of it. Do you understand? Yes. I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense, yes, I am. <laughs> I was hoping you were. So I take it you approve, and we can consider ourselves engaged even though I'm going away? I'm very happy, Hoddle. Very happy. So am I, Perchick. What's the matter? I used to tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had a name in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I would die for, someone that I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more. Besides having everything, I know what everything's for. 
used to wonder, could there be a wife to share such a difficult, wondering kind of life? I was out of sight, waiting right here. Who knows tomorrow where our home will be? I'll be with you in that home in the fall. Everything is right at hand, simple. Something that I would die for, someone that I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more. Besides having everything, I know what everything's for. Chick. As soon as I get back, I will send for you. It'll be a hard life, Hoddle. Yes, but it will be less hard if we live it together. Ah, Reb Tevye. Good I, evening. I have terrible news. I must leave this place. When? Right away. I'm very sorry to hear that, Perchik. We'll all miss you. But I have good news. You can congratulate me. Congratulations? What for? We're engaged. Engaged? Yes, Papa. We're engaged. No, you're not. I know you like him and he likes you, but you're going away and you're staying here. So, I hope you're happy, Perchik, and my answer is no. Please, Papa, you don't understand. I understand. I gave my permission to Matal and Zeitel, so you think you have a right. But he, you're going away, so go in good health still now. Papa, you don't understand. I understand. I say no, Hoddle. We'll find you someone here in Anasafka. Rev Tevi. What is it? We're not asking your permission, only your blessing. We're going to get married. You're not asking for my permission? But we would like your blessing, Papa. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? Or what? For this they want to be said. Impossible. At least with idol and model, they asked me, they begged me, now if I like it or not, she'll marry him. So what do you want from me? Go on, be wed, and tear out my beard and uncover my head. Tradition, they're not even asking permission from the papa. What's happening to the tradition? One little time you pulled out a thread and where is it led? Where has it led? Where has it led? To this! A man doesn't ask me. He tells me. But first, he abandons her. He is not abandoning me, Papa! I will send for her as soon as I get back. I love her. He loves her. Love. A new style. On the other hand, our old ways were once new, weren't they? On the other hand, they decided without a matchmaker, without parents. After all, did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? Yes, they did. It seems these two have the same matchmaker. I can't believe my own ears. Unheard of, absurd. They're going over my head. Impossible! I'll lock her up in her room. I couldn't. I should. But look in my daughter's face. She loves him. <sighs> Tradition! <sighs> well, children, I give you my permission and my blessing. Oh, thank you, Papa. You don't know how much this means. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. What am I going to tell your mother? Another dream? Perhaps if you tell her something. Like I'm going to visit a rich uncle or something. Please, Perchik. I can handle my wife myself. Golda! 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 Oh, hello, Golda. 
I was just talking with the Perchick and Hoddle. Well? They seem very fond of each other. Well? And I've decided to give them my permission to be engaged. What? Just like this? Without even asking me? Who asks you? I'm the father. Who is he? A pauper. He has nothing. Absolutely nothing. I wouldn't say that. I hear he has a rich uncle. <laughs> a very rich uncle. He is a good man, Golda. I like him. He's a little crazy, but I like him. And what's most important, Hoddle likes him. Hoddle loves him. So what can we do? It's a new world, Golda. A new world. Love. Golda. Do you love me? Do I what? Do you love me? Do I love you? Well? With our daughters getting married and this trouble in the town. You're upset, you're worn out. Go inside, go lie down. Maybe it's indigestion. Golda, I'm asking you a question. <clears throat> Do you love me? You're a I know, but do you love me? Do I love you? For 25 years I've cooked your meals, washed your clothes, cleaned your house, given you children, milked the cow. After 25 years, why talk about love right now? Gota, <clears throat> the first time I met you was on our wedding day. I was scared. I was shy. I was nervous. So was I. But my father and my mother said we'd learn to love each other. And now I'm asking Golda. Do you love me? I'm your wife. I know. But do you love me? Do I love him? For 25 years I've lived with him, fought with him, starved with him. 25 years my bed is his. If that's not love, what is? Then you love me. I suppose I do. And I suppose I love you too. It doesn't change a thing, but even so, after 25 years, it's nice to Sister Hava with that Fietka, and it's not the first time I've seen them together. You saw Hava with Fietka? Would I make such a thing up? Oh, and I happened to be at the post office today, and the postman said there was a letter there from your sis for your sister Hado. Oh, wonderful! I'll go get it. I got it. It's from her intended purchase. She will be so happy. She's been waiting, but it's open. It happened to be open. <laughs> Rivka, Rivka, listen. Remember Perchik, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding when Zido married Model and Perchik started dancing with Tavia's daughter Hoddle? Well, I just heard that Perchik's been arrested in Kiev. No! Yes! Crazy student, remember at the wedding, he danced with Tavius Hoddle. Well, I just heard that Hoddle's been arrested in Kiev. No! Remember 
Mr. Perchick with all his strange ideas remembers I told wedding. Where Tevye danced with Golda, well I just heard that tevye has been arrested and Golda's gone to Kiev. No! God forbid! She did it! She did! Listen everybody, terrible news! Terrible! Remember Perchick yes. made all the trouble uh. a lot to heard from someone who didn't know What? That gold has been arrested oh. Tadu's gone to Kiev oh. Model studies dancing oh. And Tiki is acting strange oh. Has the measles oh. Vyelka has the mumps oh. And that's what comes from men and women dancing <laughs> You don't have to wait for the train, Papa You'll be late for your customers just a few more minutes. Is he in some kind of trouble, this hero of yours? Arrested? And convicted? Yes, but he did nothing wrong. He cares nothing for himself. Everything he does is for humanity. If he did nothing wrong, then he wouldn't be in trouble. Papa, how can you say that? What wrongs did Moses do? And Abraham and Joseph? And they had troubles. But why won't you tell me where he is now? This is Joseph of yours. It's far, Papa. Terribly far. He's in a settlement in Siberia. Siberia? And he asks you to leave your mother and father and join him in that frozen wasteland and marry him there? No, Papa. He did not ask me to go. I want to go. I do not want him to be alone. I want to help him in his work. It's the greatest work a man can do, Papa. But hot old baby. Papa. How can I hope to make you understand why I do what I do? Why I must travel to a distant land far from the home I love? Once I was happily content to be be marry you in the wilderness. Papa, I promise you, I'll be married under a canopy. No doubt a rabbi or two has been have been arrested. Well, give him my regards to this hero, this Moses of yours. Tell him I rely on his honor to keep my daughter safe. Tell him that. Papa, God alone knows when we'll see each other again. Then we'll leave it in his arms. her safe. See that she dresses warm. A new arrival at Model and Zidles. A new arrival at Model and Zidles? I must congratulate him. Rabbi, did you hear the news? A new arrival at Model and Zidles. Really? Mazel tov. <laughs> You 
beautiful. Oh, yeah, thank you. You got it. I got it. It's beautiful. I know. Have you tried it yet? Well, look. Beautiful. I know. And look how close and even the stitches are. Beautiful. I know. In less than a minute, all my clothes will be made by machine. No more handmade clothes. The rabbi. Oh, look, Rabbi, my new sewing machine. Rabbi, is there a blessing for a sewing machine? There's a blessing for everything. Yehi Razan Shahayam Shayehi. Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you. And the baby. How is the baby? He's wonderful, Mama. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. I came for the shirt. It's ready. See? Our new sewing machine. I see, I see. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Good day. Good day. How does it work? Well, it's an amazing thing. See, you work it with your, your foot and your hand. They still don't know about us? You must tell them. I will, but I'm afraid. How about let me talk to your father? No, no, that will be the worst thing. I'm sure of it. Let me try. No. I will talk to him. I promise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good day. What were you and he talking about? Oh, nothing. Papa, Dad and I, we've known each other for a long time now, and I just really... Hava, that, you know, I would much prefer if you and he remained friends from a distance. You must not forget who you are, who that man is. He has a name. Of course. All creatures on Earth have a name. Fiedke is not a creature, Papa. Fiedke is a man. Of course he is. It's just, he's a different kind of man. As the good book says, each shall seek his own kind. When translated means... A bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? Papa, the world is changing. No, some things do not change for us. Some things will never change. We don't feel that way. We? Yet can I... We want to be married. Are you out of your mind? Do you have any idea what marrying outside the faith means? But Papa... No, Hava. Never speak of this again. Never speak his name again. Never see him again. Do you understand? Yes, Papa. I understand you. You're finally here? Let's go home. It's time for supper. I want to see Mottle's new machine. You can see it some other time. It's late. Quiet, woman, before I get angry. And when I get angry, even flies don't dare to fly. I'm very frightened of you. After supper, I'll faint. Goda, I'm the head of the house, the man of the family. I want to see Mottle's new machine now. Now let's go home. <laughs> Dear God, how long is that miserable horse of mine going to complain about his leg? I know, I'm, he's one of your creatures, and he has the same rights as I do. The right to be sick, the right to be hungry, the right to work like a horse. And dear God, I'm sick and tired of pulling this cart. I know, I know, I should push it a while. Tevia, Tevia. <laughs> what is it, what's wrong? It's Hava, she left home this morning with Fiedka. What? I, I looked all over for her. I even went to the priest. He told me they were married. Married? Go home, Gora. We have other children. Go home. I have work to do. You have work to do. But Hava... Hava said to us, go home.
Let's all back. Let's all have a laugh. I don't understand what's happening today. Everything is all a blur. All I can see is a happy child. What a sweet little bird you were. Havala, Havala. Little bird, little Havala. You were always such a pretty little thing. Everybody's favorite child. Gentle and kind and affectionate. What a sweet little bird you were. Havala, Havala. Them, how can I accept them when it goes against everything I believe in? On the other hand, can I deny my own child? On the other hand, how can I go against my people, my faith? If I bend that far, I'll break. On the other hand, no, there is no other hand. No, Hava, no, no, no! These are the two boys I told you about. Both learned boys from good families. Each of them a prize, a jewel. You couldn't do better for your girls. I don't know, Yenta. My girls are still both so young. What do they look like? Grandfathers? Meanwhile, they'll be engaged. Their future all signed and sealed. No looking around. Nothing to worry about. Which one for which one? Hmm. What's the difference? Take your pick. Is Red Tevye home? Yes, but he's in the house. Why? Is there some trouble? Call your father. Go home, boys. Tell your parents I'll talk to them. What is it? Why are you all standing around like a bunch of goats? Red Tevye, have you seen the constable today? No. Why? There have been some rumors going around. We figured since you knew him so well, he may have told you what is true and what is not. What rumors? Someone from Zaladin said there was an edict. It's all... Shh. Good day, Your Honor. What's the news in the world? I see your company. They are my friends. It's just as well. Well, I'd say it's there is also. Tell you how much time you need to sell your house and all of your household possessions. Why should I sell my house? Is it in anybody's way? I came here today to tell you you have to leave in a tough cup. What? Why does he have to leave? And how did I come to deserve such an honor? Oh, it's not just you, but all of you. What are you talking about? At first about? I thought you'd be spared because your daughter Hav is married to... My daughter is dead! I understand. Anyway, it affects all of you. You have to leave. No. This is our home. But this is how... This has been the circle... 
of the world has always been our home. How, why? I don't know why. There's trouble in the world. Troublemakers. Like us. You aren't the only ones. Your people have to leave all the villages. Zolodin, Rebelevka, the whole district is being emptied. I have an order here that says you have to sell your homes and be out in three days. And you, who has known us all of our lives, you carry out the order. I have nothing to do with it. Don't you understand? We understand. What if we refuse to get out? You will be forced out. We will defend ourselves. Fight! Against the armies, I wouldn't advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land! This is still my house. My land! Get off my land! You have three days. <coughs> After a lifetime, a piece of paper and get thee out. Maybe we should get together with the people of Zoladin. Maybe they have a plan. We should defend ourselves. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Of course. And then the whole world will be blind and toothless. Well, Anna's off to housing and doctrine and That's true. After all, what have we got here? A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A pot. A pan. A broom. Uh-huh. Someone should have taken a match to this place long ago. A bench. A tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. People who pass through Anatepka don't even know they've been here. A stick of wood. A piece of cloth. Why do we live? Nothing much. have been forced out of many, many places at a moment's notice. Maybe that's why we always wear our hats. Where will we live in America? Oh, you'll be living with Uncle Abram. Just he doesn't know it yet. I wish you and the baby were coming with us. Hmm. We'll be staying in Warsaw until we have enough money to join you. Mottel, be careful with these. My mother and father, may they rest in peace, gave them to us on our wedding day. Come, girls. Help me finish packing the rest of our clothes. darling, I had to see you before I left, because I have such news for you. Remember yesterday I said I didn't know where to go, what to do with these old bones? Well, now I know. You want to know? I'll tell you. But somehow or another, I'll get there. I'll walk, I'll crawl, I'll get there. What do we say every year at Passover? 
Next year in Jerusalem? Next year in the Holy Land? You're going to the Holy Land. You guessed! And do you know why? My husband came to me in a dream and said, Yenta, go to the Holy Land! Normally I wouldn't listen to him because blessed with much brains he wasn't. But in my dream, it's a sign, right? Of course right. So I'll get there. What will I do there? I'm a matchmaker. No? I'll arrange marriages. Yes? It's my mission to go there and help our people multiply. So goodbye, Golda. Goodbye, Yenta. Be well and go in peace. Maybe next time we'll meet on happier occasions. But in the meantime, we suffer, we suffer, we suffer in silence. Right? Of course, right. Come on, Golda. We'll have to hurry. Come on. We'll have to leave soon. Leave? It sounds so easy. They'll be with us soon. Matul's like told the baby. They'll come, you'll see. That Matul is a person. But what about Hado and Perchik? When will we ever see them? Do they come visiting us from Siberia every Sabbath? You know what they write. He sits in prison, she works, and soon he'll be released and they'll turn the whole world upside down. And all the other children will be with us. Not all. All. Come on, let's get finished. I still have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I don't want to leave a dirty house. Well, Tevya, I'm off. Where are you going? Chicago, in America. My wife, Fruma Sarah, may she rest in peace, has a brother there. That's nice. I hate him. <laughs> but a relative is a relative. Goodbye, Tevya. Saito, are they almost finished inside? Almost, Papa. Hava! Papa will see you. I want him to. I want to say goodbye to him. He will not listen to you. But at least he will hear. Maybe it would be best if I went inside and told Mama that... Papa! Papa! Papa, we wanted to say goodbye! We're going to Krakow. We cannot stay among people who do such things to others. I just wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Papa. Mama. Yes, we too are leaving. Some are driven away by edicts. Others by silence. Bye, Hava. Vietka. God be with you. God be with you. We can write to you in America, if you'd like. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. Does the whole world have to know our business? Stop yelling and finish packing. We have a train to catch. I don't need your advice, Golda. Vital, don't forget the baby. <laughs> we have a boat and a train to catch. Yell there, sprint like, get the bundle. Goodbye, Matel. Goodbye, Mama. Bye, Papa. Work hard, Matel, and come to us soon. I will. I'll work hard, grab Tapia. Take them. Come on, Trish. 
stop that. Behave yourselves. We're not in America yet. Come on, children. Let's go.